Hi, my name is Pels, and I'm going to be recording a tour of the mines. I mean, uh, Garden View, uh, Educational Center and Museum. Yeah. Hi, welcome to the Andy's World, the game where you and your friends get sent to, uh, to the mines by a capitalist flower looking for a cash, cash money. When going into the game, you'll soon realize that it needs multiple people to play. Now, if you have no friends, which, come on, you couldn't leave me. <laughs> you can go in alone and do multiple floors by yourself, but you'll be as good as them by the time you reach floor 5, 15, or 20. However, if you still want to deal with people even if it's random, there's two ways to do that. You can join their Discord server and host a specific type of run, which can be A, the capitalist run, B, main character run, or C, long run. But let's be real, the main character run and the long run are basically the same thing. I don't get why people make it such a big difference. You can get different kinds of tunes, like the Press Moon Man, Discount Yak in the Box, Snack to Go, That One Fish Bowl from Every Pet Store Ever, Amat, Feminine Man, Discount Huggy Wuggy, I Have Shoe Socks, Huh? Mod Attractor, Sonic But, but As a Dog, Father, and Liquidator, Father 2. There is three main classes you can play as in the game, which are Distractor, that involves you bringing the twists into chasing you and going in loops until all the machines are complete, the Engineer, whose sole purpose is to complete machines in the floor, and with the last is update, you can also be a healer. Which I'm just gonna mention that with Sprout, it just makes bandages on the shop useless, making medkits the only thing worth it if you are in a main character, which is like, why? Now you can also buy trinkets in the game, some of them you can buy them from Dandy and the rest you obtain them by getting 100% research and not twisted. But let's be real, the only trinket that's worth it in the shop is just beaches and the rest are just junk. I mean, why spend 750 Ico just to buy a trinket that makes the skill check easier to do? If you use it, then you have failed the skill check even if, you, if it tells you great job. Now the trinkets that you will be most interested in are the magnifying glass, dot plush, beast remote, and speedy shoes. Not to say most trinkets suck, but if you want to reach high floors, then this is what you will want to bring the most. As you go deeper into the mines, you will encounter twisted, which are just the tunes after letting the subs go. Most twisted just chase you, one has glasses on, one is faster than the other. However, they are twisted tunes who are more than just change stands, which are twisted, razzle and dazzle, glisten, roger, Finn, scraps. Goop, Sprout, B, Astro, and finally Dandy. Why are you giving Twisted Dandy his own section? Because Twisted Dandy is unique. Yeah! Yeah! Basically, Twisted Dandy only appears if you don't buy anything from it at least three times. Which you can notice him getting progressively angrier. Once you encounter Twisted Dandy, you will know because he will play that that one specific music. You can outrun him pretty much as almost anybody, but every time you complete a machine, he will go directly to it. And if you hit you, it's pretty much a one shot. So now with the tutorial yeah being done with, for the sake of this video, I'll be showing you some moments in the gameplay where that are personally my favorites. Oh 